watu wa Garissa salamu alaikum amjambo amjambo tena asante sana wacha ni some machache iliyoandikwa na hii watu yangu alafu niseme yangu we gather here today when the national government county governments and our development partners are working hard to mitigate the negative effects and impacts of El Nino across the country. The people of Garissa County are among the most affected. I want to thank the county government of Garissa for the steadfast response to the emergency. The leadership of this county has shown great leadership. Indeed, the measure of an effective captain is in his prowess to steer the ship in times of a storm. The county is among the arid and semi-arid areas that were affected by the recent drought. And now El Nino, we are working with the governor and other partners in ensuring no more lives or property are lost henceforth. The loss of lives and destruction of property in times of disaster is of great concern to our president, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto. It is one of the reasons that he has assigned me the role of coordinating the work of counties, state agencies, and development partners in times of emergency. I have been chairing meetings with key stakeholders in Nairobi. I have also visited those adversely affected in Mombasa County to have a first-hand experience of the damage. Today I'm here. It is not a good experience. I want to assure you that we are alive to the impact of the rains. We are here to ensure your comfort at this time of crisis. We have released 451,000 Kenya shillings for cash transfers to 119,000 poor and vulnerable households in eight arid counties, including Garissa. The money will be disbursed under the Hunger Safety Net Program implemented by the National Drought Management Authority under the Ministry of East African Community, Assaults and Regional Development. At least here in Garissa, 7,199 beneficiary households in this county will receive 58 million Kenya shillings as regular monthly transfers for October, November, and December. Beneficiaries will receive their payments directly into their equity and Kenya commercial bank agents and branches in their regions. As part of our commitment to social protection of the vulnerable, the government has since July disbursed approximately 1.7 billion Kenya shillings in cash transfers in the 88 counties covered by the NDMA. In our plan of building and strengthening less structures, last month we adopted a joint strategic framework with our development partners. The joint plan is coordinated through my office. This is an important step in giving priority to transformative projects and programs for long-term solutions to our challenges. We cannot forever be responding to emergencies. It is costly to our economy and less effective. The answer lies in lasting solutions. We do this bearing in mind that we are also battling climate change crisis. As the situation improves, we invite you to work with us in our plan of planting more trees towards the 15 billion target by 2032. On the other hand, we cannot downplay the positive impact of enhanced rains. They have refueled most open water sources as well as regeneration of pasture and bros. These offer prospects of improved food security from increased water availability for crop and livestock production. Under the Ruto administration, no region or community will be left behind, more so those at the bottom of the pyramid. We grow together because we are stronger together. President William Ruto and all of us in government share our sympathies with the families which have lost loved ones in this crisis. With our partners, we'll continue strengthening our response to avert further losses as the rains are expected to continue 
until the first quarter of 2024. May I take this opportunity to urge you and all Kenyans to exercise caution and heed to safety measures as guided by authorities. Asante ni sana. Ah, Gariza hoi. Tumefika hapa nimekuja na salamu kutoka kwa Rais William Samoe Ruto. Mmepokea? Rais William Ruto ametutuma hapa na msaada wa chakula na kila kitu kusaidia nyinyi. Amehuzunika sana na yale matatizo yamekumba nyinyi kwa sababu ya hii mvua ya El Nino na ndio amenituma mimi na mawaziri wetu wote hapa. Na pia tumefurahi sana ya kwamba marafiki wetu wa kitaifa wamefika hapa pia tuweze kuangalia na kuelewa yale matatizo ambaye mnapitia. Kwa hivyo leo tumekuja na chakula imejaa kwa hizi malori ya jeshi. Ambaye itapelekwa katika kila pembe ya kaunti hii ya Garissa. Pia tungetaka kushukuru Red Cross na wale marafiki wetu wote wa Hot Food Program, UNICEF, UN Agencies kwa ile msaada ya chakula na madawa ambayo wametuletea. Pia tungetaka kupongeza serikali ya county ya Garissa Deputy Governor akiwa hapa kwa ile msaada ya madawa na chakula ambaye mumeendelea kusaidia watu wa Garissa. Sisi kama serikali kuu ka eh, Amri Jeshi Mkuu Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces Rais William Ruto ameagiza Kenya Defense Forces kutoa mandege na ma helicopter ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya amepata chakula pahali barabara imekatika na waziri wetu waziri wetu wa ulinzi mheshimiwa Aden Ndwale ambaye ni mtoto wenu alishita hapa jana akiweka mikakati na mipango kabambe ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila pahali ambaye barabara imekatika chakula itafika Na amenituma na salamu. Umepepokea salamu ya Aden Dwale? Tumetuma ye kazi nje ambaye akimbie pia akilishe Kenya alafu warudi. Pia tuko hapa na waziri wetu wa barabara Kipchumba Mukomen na meongea hapa. Kipchumba Mukomen ako na agizo kutoka kwa Rais William Ruto. Awachana na kazi ingine yote mpaka alegeze barabara kila pahali katika Jamhuri ya Kenya. Na hiyo diyo kazi ambaye naendelea nae. Na ni kwa sababu hiyo barabara kutoka Nairobi kuja Garissa imerekebishwa. Barabara kutoka Garissa mpaka Modogashe imerudishwa. Na saa hii kazi naendelea ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tutaweza kufika kutoka Garissa mpaka Wajia. Na kwa hivyo ningetaka kuhakikishia watu ya Garissa, watu ya Wajia, watu ya Mandera, watu ya Marsabit, watu ya Isiolo. Musikuwe na wasiwasi, serekali imeweka mipango ya kutosha kuhakikisha ya kwamba barabara zote zimelegezwa na kila mkenya alio, alio hatarini kwa sababu ya hii maji amepata chakula na madawa ya kutosha. Kwa hivyo hiyo kazi itaendelea na sisi zote tuko hapa. Waziri wetu wa Sal, Penina Malonza pia, ako na instructions kutoka kwa Rais William Ruto awachane na kazi ingine yote kwa muda huu kazi yake ni kununua chakula na kuhakikisha ya kwamba chakula imefika kila pahali katika jamhuri ya Kenya na hakuna mkenya atakufa kwa sababu ya njaa na hiyo kazi inaendelea ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii kuwauliza kwa heshima makaunti zingine huko pwani na kwingineko waige mfano wa county government ya Garissa ya kutenga pesa na kusaidia wananchi kwa sababu sisi tunasema vile serikali kuu inafanya tunasimamisha miradi ya maendeleo kwanza tulishe wananchi turekebishe barabara tununue madawa hata serikali za county tunaomba nyinyi kwa heshima mnaweza simamisha mambo zingine zote zile pesa ziko mweke kwa mambo ya kusaidia wananchi wakati wa shida hii shida ikiisha tutare tuta, endelea na mambo yale ambayo tulikuwa tumepanga. Kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka mkinikubalia niongee kwa kimombo kwa hao development partners wetu. Our development partners 
on behalf of President William Ruto, the government of the Republic of Kenya, and the people of Kenya. I want to take this opportunity in a very special way to thank you most profoundly for the support that you have given the people of Kenya in this very difficult time. Not long time ago, you equally supported us during the drought period. I want to thank the UN resident coordinator, all the UN agencies, the Kenya Red Cross, the World Food Program, and no other actors who have put resources, who have put time to intervene for the people of Kenya. We are indeed very grateful, and I also want to thank you for creating time to come with me to inspect what is going on in the ground, and we'll be able to go with you to Tana River so that you are also able to appreciate the dire situation we find ourselves in. I want to ask the development partners to increase their level of support in terms of finances because the situation is looking very grave and we definitely need more resources. Finally, as the CS for Transports and Roads has ably explained, the one billion shillings that we have given is for emergency intervention to restore the roads to ensure that supplies are able to get to where people are. But the real work will begin early next year, the reconstruction of roads, especially in Northern Kenya region. I will be convening a meeting for our development partners who are involved in road programs in Northern Kenya with the ministry officials so that we can start planning in good time the path of reconstruction of our roads because we need to plan and plan properly. We need to prepare and avail resources. We need to have a good program for the restoration of our infrastructure. So our partners, once again, I will be calling upon you, and I'm grateful any time I've called you, you are always there for us, so that we can sit down with our engineers and we can start preparing for the, the construction stage of this intervention. Na kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka niseme nimeshukuru sana watu ya Garissa, Nilikuwa hapa wakati ya kiangazi, nimerudi tena. Na vile senator umeniambia, mimi nataka nikuwe rafiki yenu nikaribia nyinyi. Mungetaka nikaribia nyinyi? Mungetaka nikaribia nyinyi? Kwa hivyo sitaki tu kuja wakati wa shida, nataka muniite wakati ya rusi pia. Mutaniita wakati ya rusi? Kwaani mumekua munaniita tu wakati ya njana, wakati ya mafuriko? Mimi pia nataka muniite kwa mambo mzuri. Muziniite tu wakati ya shida, nataka muniite wakati hiko mambo mazuri. Tukuja hapa, tukuja kwa mambo ya rusi, tukuja kwa mambo ya pate, mambo ingine mambo mzuri. Mutanialika? Yeah. Mutanialika? Yeah. Kwa hivyo mimi pia ni, ta, ni chukue na fasi hiku, shukuru watu ya Garissa. Kwa yale mulitufanyia hapa township. Mulikuwa mmechagua aden dole, kama mbunge wa hapa. Siku raiza memupatia kazi ya waziri. Tukafanya uchaguzi ya by election pia mkatupatia huyu kiongozi kwa chama chetu cha UDA. Nataka niseme asante. Na nyinyi watu ya Garissa na hasa watu ya Northeastern Province. Munajua pale 2022 mulitunga mkono lakini hamu kufikisha ile kiwango tukependa. Mulitupimia kidogo mambo ya kura. Wengine mulikuwa mmepotea pale kwa azimio. Lakini sasa si mwemerekebisha. Si nyinyi ni watu ya serikali. Sasa hapo mbele tunataka tukae na nyinyi bamba tu bamba. Mtu unge mkono, muunge rais mkono, muunge serikali yetu mkono na sisi turudishe mkono kwa kuja kufanya kazi. Na kwa hivyo tutaendelea kutembea hapa kwa mambo ya maendeleo, kwa mambo ya kujenga madarasa, kwa mambo ya kujenga shule na tutakuwa na nyinyi bamba tu bamba. Na kwa hivyo mimi nataka kusema tumeshukuru sana Sasa tuko hapa na cheki tutapeana karibu familia elfu saba watapata pesa sa kutosha ya kuwasaidia. Pia tuko na chakula hapa na ingine tutagawa. Na kutoka hapa tutakibia tanariva pia tuangalie pia tuwasaidie wale. Na ningetaka kumujulisha gaba na wetu wa zamani wa tanariva buwana Husen Dado. Muna mjua pigeni ya makofi. Uyo mzee wetu. Asandi sana.